Hey everyone, welcome back to Cheers to That. It's Isa Calatayud speaking. And Kata Huitrago. If you didn't know, now you know. This is our third episode. You can't cheers without drinking. Did you not drink? I didn't drink. That's super bad That's luck. That's super bad luck. Let's act like that didn't happen. Cheers to that. <laughs> you can never cheers and not drink. That's like super legal in it life. Is, it is. Okay, so let's get into the episode today. We're going to give you guys life updates, mm -hmm. and then we're going to do current events, and then we're going to get into our topic of the day, which is how to have a hot girl, hot boy summer. Yes. We love that. Super excited. So, yeah. So this is our third. Our third episode. Episode, third official episode. Yeah. Very excited. Yeah. So, okay, guys. To give you a little rundown on what's been happening in our lives, um, basically, I've been a disaster we in love regards that. to school. I feel you, girl. I'm not a very school-ish person. Me neither. And so I'm not doing so well in my class right now, but we're going to get that up. Um, <sighs> how are you doing in school? Because you're taking classes also, right? It's terrifying, it's disgusting, it's horrible, it's atrocious, it's absolutely... Just disrespectful. That disrespectful. Now, but, no, just kidding, okay. Because, yeah, don't like school, but we're very blessed to be able to afford school and be able to be in it. Well, like, I'm blessed for FAFSA. FAFSA people, I adore you. Thank you for everything you that you do. I get full FAFSA, you don't pay I do not get FAFSA, so I, I guess I'm very blessed that I'm able to afford school <laughs> i'm very blessed um for the government <laughs> yeah guys but, but how are you doing in your classes no i mean i've never been a school girl yeah i've always just been smart and like hope that like that led me my way but after high school that just plummeted really during high school it was just plummet nation and then well i wasn't gonna go to college i didn't go to college for like a yeah. year but then quarantine came and i was like fuck it like i have nothing better to do so why not yeah it just got do you it. thinking i was like i got full fafsa yeah. and like why not do it like let me yeah. just do it yeah so i did it but i'm just i like i don't know how to do school and it's like been a huge problem and i've been super stressed out because i, I just i guess it's also like the online is just like not helping that's true, like thinking about going back to school sounds in person, terrible. yeah doesn't sound cute but i feel like that'll also like it'll make us do better because i guess we because ha you have to go because like attendance like whatever like you have to go but like the online is just so convenient but it's just like not like i haven't learned one thing yeah you don't learn anything in college um it's oh fine God. though it just is super stressful i'm just trying to finish and i'm gonna finish hopefully by next summer with my bachelor's Woo! cue the clapping <laughs> And then I'll be done forever because I'm not doing a master's. And what's your major? Hospitality. Oh, we love a Dave Grutman. We love a Dave Grutman. We love a Dave Grutman. Love and coming. We love that. Uh, I've been super stressed this week. I think since I've been in bed all week because I had strep. Super fun. Love that. But I like when you're like alone by yourself, you just get to thinking. Yeah. Start thinking thoughts. You know what I mean? And I've just been super stressed out. I'm like, when I graduate, like, I see all these people on TikTok that they're like, post-grad life. Like, what is that? Like, they can't find jobs. Yeah. They can't do anything. But that's like, I was literally talking about that with Rebecca. Like, yes. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I was telling her, we, we somehow got into, like, the topic of school. Mm -hmm. And she was like, and I told her that I'm going to graduate, like, next year, like, like, in summer. And she was like, oh, what are you going to do after? I was like, that's a later problem. Because, yeah, I'm studying hospitality, but, like, it's not like I want to work, like, in like a restaurant or like a hotel or something like i don't want to do that so hopefully this podcast does really well because that's my plan right now for after no yeah i'm pro because i mean my major I right don't. now is like digital media and like digital production and broadcasting so, so i guess like you know this podcast this is, is like it's like on my resume Teaching now you i guess some things. Yeah. so yeah it's definitely been like a learning experience but i'm just like trying to look like everything you need like experience like that's what stresses me out yeah. that everything you need experience but talking about hospitality you know you can get like even with hospitality you can get like jobs in social media and stuff no for sure there's like different sections of hospitality i don't i'm in hospitality management 
why i don't know i in college i was in hospitality travel and tourism like i was in that section and then when i got to like university like i don't know why i didn't just transfer that but i'm in hotel no not hotel management hospitality management whatever that means so <laughs> i'm just taking like a whole bunch of different classes like in fall i'm gonna take like like i oh my god there's one that i'm actually excited for and it's like and it's like beverage like how to it was like wine 101 or something there's like a class it's like wine 101 and you were like <laughs> and i was I like saw that shit on her schedule was she like, was like add <laughs> to my class schedule and then last class I, so last funny. semester i took like social event planning and i had like the best teacher in the world so like i made it fun but like i don't like i learned how stressful social event planning is like you have to think about every single little thing so i don't think that that's the job for me because i'm very like up in the clouds all the time so i don't think that i would be able to and why that, did you choose your major like what helped you choose your major you and geeky <laughs> Because before I was undecided, I, I didn't have a major. I was just, like, doing my AA, like, in, like, I was just doing, like, the requirements or something. I don't yeah. know what that's called. And then, oh, I was General undecided. General studies, I was, like, whatever undecided. Fuck. Like, it literally said, like, undecided. Uh -huh. And then you and Kiki were like, you would be really good in hospitality. And then when I learned, like, what that was, I was like, okay, like, it's yes. It's a job where you work with people. Exactly. Like, and know. honestly, like not to toot my own horn but like i feel like i'm good with people like the job i have now like i like talking with people even though people can be very annoying, annoying. but it's just like fun like i wouldn't want to be like in an office like by myself like that sounds yeah horrible yeah so yeah you and geeky basically were like you yeah i think that's a really great so i think I that's a great that. career path honestly if i wasn't doing the like media Digital, yeah. and broadcasting things I, I would do hospitality a thousand percent hello i don't know why you're not like you're good you're better at it. people than i am i love it you're such a people person i am yeah but i don't know i don't know i just want to be like i don't know i both of those <laughs> both of those majors are like in action mm -hmm. like you're in action so i enjoy so that yeah, you don't yeah mind. i don't mind but yeah, so that's the school situation. So I guess we, you just have to like put it all in God's hands. No, yeah. Not stress it's, about it's it. It's literally there right now because I, I, I'm I not doing the best right now. But hopefully, like, you know, hopefully it gets better. Because yeah. I mean, I can't afford to fail this class. I'm paying for it. So <sighs> super fun. Okay, guys. So unless you're like living under a rock, you know that Alex Cooper just signed a $60 million deal with Spotify for yes, Call Her did, Daddy. Which is one of our favorite podcast 20 mil to. 20 million dollars a year for three years holy shit that's insane so now, is it only gonna be on spotify i'm like yeah is it only gonna be on yeah it's spotify <laughs> not the side profile no, yeah it's spotify exclusive yeah so it's not on apple podcast no oh that's it's, depressing i i don't know if like the old episodes are gonna stay on apple mm -hmm. podcast or they're gonna move everything Transfer. along but yeah i mean spotify is free no, yeah, and she posted, like, a little meme or whatever, and she was like, you don't have to pay to listen. You don't yeah. have to have premium to listen or whatever. So I'm like, okay, thank God. Yeah. I don't have Spotify premium. I use Apple Music, sorry. Yeah, she's the smartest bitch ever. Like, yeah. she literally, like, oh, she's, doing very she's well. such a fucking smart bitch. And that bitch. just, like, ma motivated Isa and I to, like, do well here because that's literally our plan yeah we were like we need to get our shit together so from now on this is the best podcast in the world guys i don't know what to tell you make yeah. it happen for us Thank please you. we're struggling uh... geo get the fuck out of our podcast who the fuck invited you thank you anyways <laughs> what's <laughs> cheers to that, cheers to that. <laughs> okay next thing we're gonna talk about is current events Eighth grade style. Okay. What's, What's been first? going on? A lot of things have been happening in the media, in the press, in the news. Keeping up with the Kardashians had their last episode. I'm freaking. I, well, today, have you watched it? I, I watched like half of the last episode, and then today they're doing Final Curtain with Andy Cohen. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> I recorded it because oh, okay. we're here. Yeah. But hello, you think I'm going to miss Andy Cohen and the Kardashians? remix so never I, <laughs> are you shitting me so i actually don't really keep up with that show but you don't I've keep watched, up with the kardashians i think i've watched up until like 
Like, I watched all the episodes up until, like, season, like, 10, probably. Okay. But I haven't watched anything after that. I've watched, like, bits and pieces, but, yeah. like, I haven't kept up. So, but I do want to watch the last episode. I want to see what it's all about. Oh, my God. I'm super excited. Andy Cohen goes hard. Like, when he does, like, the housewife reunions, he goes super hard. Like, he asks the hard-hitting questions. And supposedly, like, you know the Kardashians? Like, they're, like, you know how celebrities, like, you give them the list of, like, questions and they have to, like, figure out. Like, they have to approve of the questions okay, you're yeah, going to ask. Yeah. So, so uh, supposedly, Andy Cohen was like, I'll do the reunion, but, like, it has to be, like, I ask you whatever I, the yeah. fuck I want to ask. And they said, yeah? Supuestamente. So, it's going to be, like, hard-hitting questions, which I'm super excited for. Okay, I want to watch that, actually. That sounds really interesting. <laughs> so, speaking about the Kardashians, though, Kylie came out with, like, a super cute pic with Travis. Okay, this isn't, like, speaking about the Kardashians. This is, like, breaking news! Breaking fucking news! They're so cute together. I love them together. And my, such a cute little my theory is that they've never broken up. I think I heard someone say that they're like in an open relationship because they're just like never together, but then they're always together. So I just like, I don't know. And like, I feel like she's been with, I feel like they both had to have been with other people. Maybe, yeah, right? I don't know. I mean, I don't know, but, but I love them together. I, I just they don't think they've that. ever broken up. Like, they do such a great job from they what really we can do. see co parenting yeah, exactly. and like all that stuff. <gasps> when she so posts that cute. picture, when, when, it was for sure broke the was it Travis's birthday when they came to live? When they went to live. Yeah, I think so. And then Kylie flew out for yeah, his yeah. birthday. Yeah. And everyone was like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. They were super cute. Like the videos and stuff. And now the picture, I'm like, yeah. you guys need to chill. Do you think that they posted that Kylie posted that picture because it's like the end of like keeping up? And now it's like, I don't know, like she doesn't have pressure to show oh, it on the show. Maybe. Maybe. Because did he ever come out in the show? Yeah, right? I think, like, very vaguely. I mean, she doesn't even come out, like... That much. That much. Yeah, she probably was just, like, over being, like, super in the camera. So maybe that had to do with it. Yeah, maybe she didn't show him as much because she was, like, over all the pressure or whatever that everyone was like putting on her yeah but they're beautiful i love them together yeah love them um another couple benifer hello what the fuck is going on j-lo j-lo i fucking game love because you there's just like no way i fucking love you like i love you jennifer but like uh, update me girl because like i'm, I'm in, in the, the clouds i'm in the clouds with what's going on she well a-rod was cheating we all know that they broke up and next day at the like Catch me up, babe. <laughs> Catch me up. Dude, her and her and Ben at the beach. My grandma and my mom were like watching the news. They were like, No, and my thing, like what I think about like <laughs> my thing with their with when A Rod and like J Lo broke up is that they obviously had got like their families had gotten super close. Yeah. He has two daughters, she has her twins. Yeah. They were like brother and sister, like with each other in every moment, like loved each other, like fam. And then Boom. Yeah. Uh, why does a rod do these things fucking like men no, have that's, problems that's crazy though because you said that they've been like it was like she was with someone and then ben and then they broke up and she was with someone and then she yeah went ben back is to like ben her now. rebound vibes rebound vibes do you think ben it's is, rebound though or do you think it's like they're just like have never be. gotten yeah have gotten over each other and they just like didn't work out the first well time. supposedly the first time they were together that they were engaged it was also during a pandemic how funny yeah like an epidemic not a pandemic oh. SARS but supposedly the media broke them up like supposedly like the press was just releasing a bunch of shit like trying to separate them and they ended up breaking up because of the media like not themselves or whatever mm -hmm. so maybe now she's like trying to see like if it's if it like out. a normal thing and yeah. just like focus on themselves and like what they think and stuff yeah. but wild yeah wild crazy. information next current event a next current event we need to talk about is that there was like photos circulating of Camila Cabello from where was she even from? Little Mitt? No. No. <laughs> Fifth Harmony. <laughs> She's a Miami girl. Fifth She's Harmony, Miami. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fifth Harmony. That they won on like the X Factor. Or yeah. Little Mitt's Fifth Harmony to me same are the thing. same thing. I don't care. Did they win on the X Factor? Or did they just like everyone like love them? So they like. I have no I idea. Either, but I feel like I watched that, that season or whatever. Yeah. I don't remember. I have no clue. But whatever. They were like super on top for a while and then they just kind of like disintegrated. Yeah. And then Camila started dating Sean. They're still together. They're they, not... I think they are. Just I, I stalked her Instagram it. right. Oh, you're talking about Fifth. Oh, I have yeah. no idea. No idea. Oh, you're talking about Sean and Camila? Yeah. They are still together. 
No, yeah, and they've been together for a while, actually. How long have they been together? Like two years, a year? I don't know. Why? A while. Yeah. So whatever. Kudos to them. But there was like some photos circulating, and she was getting. She got destroyed. Like the That's media so literally sad. destroyed her. That is so sad. That sucks about being famous, dude. Honestly, like people talk shit about Chloe when she was like trying to defend herself from the fat shaming or yeah. whatever. But that is so tough. Like the whole nation Universe is saying that you're fat and like yeah. Camila Cabe, yo, like she was she isn't fat. No, she's not fat. She was like normal, like you and know. She put, on some weight, she put on some weight, yeah. But like for people to fully be like destroying her yeah, in the press. That's a lot. That's a that's whole lot. Fucked up. And then people wonder why like celebrities go crazy. Like obviously, like there's like a million thousand people like talking about like them. Like homegirls just trying to go to the beach in peace. That's so sad. And for me, like Stop the craziest <laughs> the craziest part is that we're like in 2021. Yeah, you like, feel me? Get over it. Like what year are we in, bro? Dude. Like, yeah, worry about yourself, babe. So many people going through like food issues and like all this shit and like you're fat shaming a skinny girl? No, yeah. Por favor. No, I just dude. spit everywhere. <laughs> it's like my my character trait at this point. <laughs> my brand. No, yeah, but it's crazy. And then you see like those I see so many TikToks that's so like about like like trying to make people feel better about like celebrities. So it's like they show like a picture of them like looking super cute and then like one where they're not like they're bad or yeah. whatever. And then like people get on like and then they have to put, like, a warning that's, like, I'm not, like, making fun of these people. Like, it's just, like, to see that, like, social media isn't everything. But it's, like, no. oh, my God. Like, these people are just normal people. Like, of course, they're going to be done up, like, when they're on red carpets, when they're going out, like, whatever. And then they have these, they have their bad days, too. Like, going, I could never be, like, in the, like, dude, to be out in the public like that. And then, like, get, like, just destroyed all the time. I can't have. I, can't. I literally, you know who I feel bad for? The people that work at Chipotle, that they see me go in in jean shorts, a huge hoodie, my hair in a disaster, my mask on backwards, my sunglasses like this, my pasty so ass like skin, my fucking flip flops with my crusty ass toes. And like, they're probably like, what the fuck happened? Like, imagine me getting photographed like that. At Chipotle. <laughs> at Chipotle. And then like, the whole yeah. country yeah, destroying me. I'm going to go out, like in a gown. No, from now on, like, especially with this podcast and it's everything, <laughs> like, we're not going out, like, looking like crazy people anymore, like, impossible. Yeah. You can't do it. It's, a whole lot. Ugh, it's like a lot of pressure, a lot of social pressure, guys. We need to chill ox. Okay, guys, um, quick little break. Interception. Interception. We wanted to give a huge thank you to Martorel Media. We appreciate everything you guys have done for us. Always. They let us use their studio. Their people are They have an beautiful. amazing studio. Amazing team. So yeah, we love to be here. This is our favorite Definitely place follow on Instagram at Martorel Media. So make sure to follow Mofos. Thank I you. Know like, I think it's right Martorel under. Martorel Media. Stop, stop, <gasps> stop, stop. Shut up. Stop. Right Shut up. I'm yeah, literally, literally. I'll, I'll literally, I'll literally kiss him. Are you kidding me? I'll literally kiss him. <sighs> we have to get deep right now. There's something really serious that happens that broke my heart. I could cry. Let me, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back in. So to my Bravo people, which there's probably no one, but... There's a huge scandal going on with Erica Jane. She was a real housewife of Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. She was married to an 82-year-old man. She's like 49. Mm -hmm. They have like the same age difference as my mom and my dad. Super cute. But he was a super he is a super prominent attorney in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. And she was always like a housewife. Like she had her kid and like lived life. And then she went on to like perform and like live like the super insane luxury lifestyle. She had a glam squad that traveled with her everywhere, everywhere. that had salaries. Like she spent forty thousand dollars a month on a glam squad. What? Like these people were filthy rich. That's like insane. the wealth. Like it wasn't like they're rich. Like no, no, no they were like, like disgustingly like rich. And it turns out being, she's very secretive on the show, on Beverly, on Housewives. Erica she's Jean, that's yeah, she's name. very secretive. I loved her always, but she like is very reserved. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And people would complain about that because mm -hmm. you're supposed to go on the reality show and to be, be like, open exactly about yeah. everything. But she was very reserved. Comes to be, 
that she divorces her husband. This was like she filed for divorce in November. Okay. Oh, a while ago. Yeah, in November. Okay. But the, this is what's happening. So she filed for divorce in November, like super randomly. And everyone was like, why didn't you wait for the guy to die? Like, bitch, he has so much money. Like, wait for him to die. Like, why the <laughs> fuck are you divorcing him, you dumbass? But whatever. So she divorces him. Okay, everyone's like, what the fuck? Like, that's super weird that she's filing for divorce. Mm-hmm. Okay, you never know what happens. Never said, yeah, she never said the reason. No. A few weeks after she files for divorce, comes out that he, he was a lawyer and he would do settlements. So like, let's say... There was a plane crash, which was one of the things. He would help the people that were affected by the plane crash get money. And obviously the money would go to him. And then he would have to distribute the money from the settlement Mm -hmm. with the company. That sounds exactly like a Grey's Anatomy episode. Stole all the money and never gave all the people that he helped a cent. All these people that were affected from disease, from burnings, from explosions, from plane crashes. That were affected, that almost died, widows, but like, orphans. But that's not the only, like, he's been doing that, or that was, like, the case that, like, he did No, there was, with. like, five different that cases. That Shut up. And five different cases. Until... There was... Speculation. There was speculation. There was rumors happening. This man was a famous lawyer since the time that he was, like, 28 years old. He was, like, yeah. 82. Like, he is, like, super lawyer. respected. Yeah. Um, so there was speculation, like a lot of people would talk about it, like in the city, but like nothing was ever confirmed after all these accusations started happening. A bunch of lawyers started suing him also Shut up. because he also didn't give lawyers the money that he needed to give them. How did he think that was not going to come out? Like, I don't kidding? know. Like whatever. So that happened. That was a few months ago. Like all this is happening. But the reason why it's coming to light again is because Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, they were filming Mm -hmm. in that moment. When all that news came out, they were filming. And now they're airing it. Like, the season started. So everyone's back on it again. People made these people that were affected by Tom, Tom Girardi. That's his name? Yeah. All came out and made a huge documentary on Hulu. Shut up. A house, the housewife and the hustler, or the hustler and the housewife. I don't know. Oh, that's what I was talking to you about. Name. Okay. I made a huge documentary about how this guy, like, before they got a divorce, he wired her twenty million dollars to separate the assets so they wouldn't lose all their money, and like that the divorce was only because like she knew that they were gonna get screwed over, so they were trying to protect uh-huh. money. Dude, all of this terrible shit, and I'm just like heartbroken. That's insane. That's crazy. Isn't that a that fucking crazy. story? Yeah. How do you feel about that? No, but like what? That's, I mean, it makes me feel sad for the people because obviously, and it's not that it just happened like once. It happened like multiple times. Like, one, I don't know how he thought that he was going to get away with it. And then two, this woman. Okay, wait. I'm confused about one thing, though. Erica Jane divorced him, though, just because she didn't want to get caught in like the crossfire or just because like or because like, I don't know. Like Okay, there's a lot. No one knows. The question is, like, what if Erica didn't know anything? Like, that's, like, the out. big question. Like, what if she okay. never knew anything and then she found out and then divorced she was him? Like, that's fucked up or, that. like, she had been known and then they knew that shit was about to go down with so, the money. So then they divorced to separate the assets. So no one knows. That's why we're everyone's, like, watching this yeah. season. Like, what the fuck is about to happen? Because do you think it's going to come out in the season? Because that's a whole it's lot. All, yeah. Yeah? Duh. Hello, when Teresa Judice got arrested. Ooh, that was like that the, was. A f- oh my gosh! And up. Jen Shaw from Salt Lake City just got arrested. They're filming too. All these housewives. Okay, I need PSA. To start the show. If you're doing fraud, don't go on reality TV. <laughs> don't. Just step back for a little. Let's let's stay low key. <laughs> let's stay low key because the second you go on reality TV, it's your whole world is yeah. fucking destroyed. If you're on some fuck shit, that's crazy. I didn't know the whole story. Isn't that the most insane insane. thing you've ever heard? That's insane. And that's super stressful for her. If she didn't know. If she didn't know, she's just fucked up. If she didn't know, she's fucked up. But if she didn't know and all these people are like, you knew, you bitch. Like, you're fucking disgusting. Like, like. ah! But then she can't even come out. She then, like, she wouldn't even be able to come out. Or, I mean, she can and be like, oh, I I had nothing to do with it. But then, like, he could do some major damage, like, for her, right? Like, he could be like. Yeah, she did know. Like, you know what I mean? No, like, I don't. I don't think. His. No, because I think that they're in cohort, 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 cohorts. Cohorts? I don't know what you're trying to Co- say. Cohorts? 
cahoots maybe I cahoots know. i have, I have no idea what yeah i think that is the word cahoots but yeah i mean for me like in my brain what i think happened is that she didn't know her husband came to her and was like we need to get a fucking divorce because i'm getting my shit rocked rocked so this is what we need to do like don't ask questions like we have to fucking do this shit this and she was like okay like we yeah, need to yeah, get a divorce and yeah. she was like okay fuck you like you had me and all this shit which is what happened to Teresa judice la pobre Teresa, i love her she had no idea she was signing documents for her husband her husband was doing fraud is this, this is why she got, went to jail what, why oh. she went to jail Oh, but she had no idea. But yeah. she had her name on everything because her husband would be like, sign this paper because they were business partners. And she would just sign. She, she never worked a day in her Stop. life. Uh, she never worked a day like, in her life. Her husband. It's not like she's going to be like, what is this? Like, da, da, da. No, and she's like, she, Teresa, like, we love her, <laughs> but like, she's not, not you know, she, yeah, she's in the clouds. So she got fucked one year in prison. And her husband got three years and then got deported. Deported to where? Italy. Oh, wait, I think I heard about this. Claro. Yeah, just so you know, I don't watch a show. Like You, you need know, to like, watch Housewives. Know. Guys, if you're not watching Housewives, you need to watch it because it's just too fucking good. I just good. don't really watch reality TV, but I do need to get on it. I think that's the first one I'm going to watch. <laughs> so the last current event that we're going to talk about are all these shows getting like a reboot and being filmed again like years later. So like the first, the one that I've been seeing a lot is like iCarly and that they're doing it like, uh, like a super grown up version of it. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I'm not... I don't know if I'm going to watch it. I'm not really, like, excited for it. I just feel like when you do... I don't know. I don't... I think reboots are kind of like, eh. Like, I'm not, like, a huge fan of them. Um, me neither. It's just kind of, like, keep it to the original. Like, you don't have to, like... Like, I don't know. Everyone loved the original. You always know that the reboot... I feel like the reboot never does well. I think it's... Or, like, as yeah. well. I mean, I think, like, when a show's iconic, the show's iconic. iconic and, like, it. don't fuck it up. That's what the... Car- going back to the Kardashians ending, they had said, like, you know, like, let's... We did 20 seasons. Like, let's let the show be a great show. Yeah. Like, let's not keep going, going. and, like, whatever. Like, yeah, it was a good a show. Lot. 20 seasons. Like, up. let's leave it and let go because then you do another season. You guys are all tired. Like, yeah. Are, like, yeah, everyone's like, okay. You could, like, yeah. You could stop, babe. You could stop. Live your life. Like, Fuller House. What the fuck was that? Yeah. What the fuck yeah, was that? Yeah, I just feel like reboots aren't really a thing. Like, they shouldn't be a thing. And there was a there. Is there actually gonna be a Sex and the City reboot? Like they're yeah, gonna... supposedly they're filming. I don't know if it's a movie. I think it's a movie. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna be like oh, a show. A whole show. Okay. But like the thing is, one's... like Kim Cattrall isn't even on it. So like, why the fuck are you filming? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, and that one's like a really iconic show. And it was like when they're old. It wasn't like a little kid show. And then now they're like older. Like yeah, they're older, but yeah. like, they've been adults. You know what I mean? So I feel like actually that one may be a little different. If it's a movie, could be, like, not bad because it's, like, a short little thing. But, like, I don't know. But I feel like, okay, like, with reboot shows, like, it's best if all of the characters are in it. Yeah. Like, Fuller House, none, like, none of the characters mm-hmm. were in it. And then with iCarly, Carly, Sam, Sam isn't, isn't in, it. in it. Jinx, you owe me a Diet Coke. And then, like, hello, how are you not going to have Samantha on Sex in the City? I know, like, their, their whole scandal and stuff. Yeah. But, like, then don't do it. Like, like yeah. she's iconic. Yeah, she's like, iconic. she made the fucking show, babe. And then there was another show. Is That's where Raven had, like, a reboot, right? Oh, they, like, but they're they're going hard, yeah. But they, and they all They have, like, were seasons. No, yeah, yeah, but they were well, all Well, not, hard, not right? Eddie. I mean, you know, he's cracked oh, the fuck out. Right. Sorry. Love I you, haven't but, watched like, it, so I don't know. Not him. But I knew that one had a reboot. Yeah, Chelsea and her. They're so cute. They are so cute. They're so cute. They're such great friends. That was a great show. That was my favorite show growing up. It was so good. It was so good. But But yeah. yeah. That was not good, but it's because it's on Disney. So like the kids now are enjoying it. Like Mm -hmm. if it was a new show. Like, and it's good for us because it's like. like, Yeah, it's like like nostalgic. The original That's So Raven. Like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was it for current events. Okay, guys, for the next segment of Cheers to That, we're going to be talking about something very important. Kata, real listen. We are approaching summer, or we're in summer. Well, te- I think, is today the first day of summer? Like, I mean, technically, I mean, it depends, like, who you are, but, like, school ended, so technically it's summer for those people. I'm in mm. school, so I guess it's, like, but it's technically summer. I say summer's from June the beginning of June to the end of August. Yeah. So we're in summer right now. And a big topic that it is absolutely everywhere is hot girl summer. But we're going to put it to hot girl, hot boy summer, even though we can't really talk for the guys. But how to have a hot girl summer. 
Hot girl, hot boy summer. Hot girl, hot boy summer <laughs> has approached H B A. Hot girl, hot boy summer. H G H V S. Okay, so I think that to have a hot girl, hot boy summer, the first ingredient is confidence. Absolutely. Right or wrong? Yeah. So. In my opinion, like, what I would do to have confidence is, like, okay, obviously you're not going to have plans every day. Or if you do, honestly, like, props to you. But even if you don't have plans, it's, like, to have the confidence to just, like, like, even if you're at home, like, get ready. Get your nails done. Get your hair done. Do your makeup. Like, this and that. Just feel good about yourself. Wait, this reminds me. Do you know who Glam Demon 2004 is? She's a TikToker. <laughs> she got canceled. Okay, why? Because she put out a video on TikTok saying that every time people talk about confidence, they talk only about appearance. appearance. And she was like, I'm quoting her in her video. She was like, read a book. Do you know how to spell Pharaoh? <laughs> she Because everyone was like, you know, like hot girl summer or whatever is supposed to be empowering to women Mm -hmm. and like fuck it like you know and then she was being like belittling people okay she was like you people are only like your only hobby is media consumption Mm -hmm. she was like get a new hobby whatever but i feel like what she said has a lot of value truly because it's like it's not like it's half and half. Yeah, no, a thousand it's not percent. About, you have to feel good about yourself on the inside and on the outside. And for me personally, like, okay, yeah, obviously, like, you, it is about feeling good on the inside. But for me, like, I feel good about myself. Feeling like, yourself internally and- is when I feel myself. So, like, when I have everything done, like, when I have my nails done, when my hair is cute, when I, like, you feel better makeup, internally. Like, exactly. I feel better about a thousand myself. Percent. I want to go out. Like, I want to be with people. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I want to be social. When you're doing all your self care habits exactly. and like, all that stuff, you're important. taking care of yourself, you'll automatically feel good. Like, yeah, like, inside yeah. And out. It's like in a, it's like, on the outside what is that it's an external thing but it definitely like helps internally it does so, help internally so i don't know like obviously if you know if you want to read a book because that makes you feel and reading reading is honestly amazing i just i don't do a lot of it but like you know i should i should maybe read a book once you know what makes me feel really good <laughs> what makes you feel really good googling this girl here her billionth no wasn't billionth. it was billionth but i don't think that's true i think that was a scam because my friend told me that that's literally physically impossible. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, maybe it was just a scam. What's, wait, what's billion? Like, what, how many, because, okay. I don't think has- we've ever done anything in our life a billion times. That's billion how was- much a billion is. Like, I don't think we've peed, well, maybe you have peed a billion times. I but know. I I definitely haven't. What is it? What's a billion? I don't okay. know. I'm really bad at math, guys. <laughs> Okay, back to the topic. So having, like I said, like I feel like when you feel yourself like on the outside, like it definitely makes you feel better about yourself and then you want to go out. I personally like to feel good about myself. Like I like hanging out with my friends. I love hanging out with my friends. I love a girl moment. We hang, like we go eat somewhere and then we go like to someone's house and we just like talk shit all night. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Just like spending time with your friends, I feel like makes you feel like a lot better about life. Like every time I go home and I hang out with my girls, I'm like, you know yeah. what? I love today. I see. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's, I think nowadays a lot of people are like, I don't have friends or like, I don't have anyone to hang out with. Like, I only hang out with like one person or like, I only hang out with my boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Like, my boyfriend is my only friend, whatever. Your boyfriend isn't your only friend. Absolutely you just need to, not. You just need to broaden your horizons, okay? Like, I love, like, I personally, I have mm. like a million people that i hang out with like different like yeah different i have my groups girls of people. like i have my girls but like i love a random i die for the randomest outing like if i met you two days ago and, and now like, we're getting drinks like i love that. i love it I, and those are like so fun and that's how you make new friends like i feel like yeah. you kind of just i'm not the type of person to reach out and like be like to someone like i don't talk to all the time and be like hey let's do this but when someone does that to me I'm like automatically wow, there. Like, like hell yeah. So like, just down. definitely so like doing the people that you are that you know that you like and you get along with like just hit them up and be like oh like what are you, like broaden your horizons. You How don't about hot girl summer together. How I about, used like, to I used to be like this person that even even still 
I'm not the type to make plans. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. like, I really am We're not the, the type. We're the same in that aspect. And, like, I realize, like, okay, I can't complain if I see everyone out. I never reach out to anyone. Exactly. I let people choose me exactly. to make plans. And I was like, no, you know what? Like, there's people I, I like that are my friends and I'm going to initiate because exactly. they're living their own world. They're not thinking about me. Exactly. So, like, if I want to form a friendship. It's going to have to be. Uh, you have ways. to put. Everyone has to put in their part. Yeah. And I, I think that's, do, like, a really important part of, like, having a good time this summer. I do need to work on that. I'm very... Not the best person with the... I'm not. It's, like, you out. really have to put effort because I'm not like that either. And yeah. then I, I remember and then I, like, do a phone call yeah. or, like, whatever. Like, when I think of someone just, like, sporadically. Like, you think of someone, oh, I call because yeah. I'm not, like... Because then you're going to forget or then it's just going to, like... And then I'm going to be, like, no, like, why would I... No, like, fuck it. Make the fucking FaceTime call. Exactly. You know? and, <laughs> and if they say no, they say no. You tried. And you know what? You'll try again. And you know what? Try, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, yeah. like... Don't let people... Don't depend on people to choose you. Go out there. If they treat you like shit, whatever. Don't talk yeah, to them. Exactly. But, like, <laughs> put yourself out there. 100%. And, ain't none else to it. Ain't none else to it. Okay, because we've been talking about, like, just, like, hanging out with friends and having a good time and all this thing. All these things. All but, this thing. All this thing. <laughs> all this thing. there's obviously people out there who ha- are in a relationship and still want to have a good time during the summer. Which, obviously, like... You know, you can have a good time while you're in a relationship. You can even have a better time than someone who's... Mm. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you, can still, you can still have a good time if you're in a relationship. Like, make Trust. an effort. Being in a relationship isn't always terrible. Sometimes it's okay. okay. Sometimes it's okay to be in a relationship, okay? It's not always. No. Maybe 99% of the time, but always no we're kidding so you can (laughs) in regards to just like in regards to just talking about people with a in a relationship like make an effort if you want to like have a good time with your partner make an effort like plan like maybe like what is it like date night fridays or whatever that every friday you go out bueno la plata no but like you know like maybe every other friday yeah or just something little (laughs) Like, like do an activity oh wait I follow this girl on TikTok. She actually works for TikTok now. Did, I, did you ever see her? She made a resume for TikTok and she put it on TikTok and her TikTok went viral and then TikTok hired her. Mm-mm. Okay, whatever. Her. She is starting a podcast. Okay. Shout out, Jenna. And it's called Fun on Weekdays. And she's, because she works a nine to five, just okay. like everyone else. Yeah. And like, but she makes it a point that every day she does something fun, when, whether it's happy hour, whether it's like going on a picnic, whether it's like, just like doing something, something just different, something. like watching the sunset, watching something different. That's really cute. That's, she's so cute. That's really oh, cute. We love her here. And that's actually but, another thing, because obviously a lot of us are working during summer. And actually during summer, like the hours are actually even worse because people aren't in school. So people like places tend to stay out. I mean, open longer, open earlier, like whatever. Like my job. So, and the place that I work at actually opens now earlier and stays out stays open later stays open later (laughs) and so obviously i'm gonna be working a lot but that does not stop me like i'm still gonna like literally like i could get out like at 12 p.m and i'll be like okay like what are we doing because i can't like i'm just not the type of person that like works and then goes home like i can't do that and i'm also like a yes bitch i will say yes to anything so it could be one in the morning and i'll be like what are you doing like let's do it and i'll be like we're we're there there. i'll be like yeah i don't think my parents love that so much but honestly mom and dad like i'm working i'm a working girl i go to school i'm just trying to have a hot girl summer now for the men 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 where do we start with you (laughs) i mean i guess you can incorporate some of that to like hot boy summer too listen Honestly, men are simple creatures. Yeah, they really are. Listen, have a good time. Maintain yourself. You know, get a haircut here and there. Even though I hate when men get haircuts. I hate when they get haircuts. What? I was about to mention that. What? Because I was going to say, like, men are simple creatures. Like, all they need is a haircut. And they're like, yeah, I'm ready to take off. Yeah. But... The, I a haircut, like, 10 push-ups, and, and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> usually, I don't like when guys get a haircut. It, like, scares me because I'm like, how are you going to look after? But 
It's terrifying. There has been a trend on TikTok. Have you seen it? Mm. Where they have long mm. hair and then they buzz it. Guys, that, that, is like, I, that is like the best trend that I've seen. Like, but it only works if you had long hair. Okay. No, there's this one guy that had just like curly hair. He buzzed and he looked amazing. I, like they look like a different okay. person. Okay, 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 okay. Let's make a rule for the Hot Boy Summer. Buzz your fucking hair right now. Unless you have like a weird shape head, then you can. I just but thought, buzz it. I have a couple of questions. Oh, look who's look joined. Who uh, okay. I guess um, we'll allow it. Armpit hair. Love. No, I mean, you can't be bare in the armpits, but also don't be too long. Tri- okay, maybe a little <laughs> no more. more. A little. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. I don't like the hey, armpit no, hair up to here. No, obviously not up to here. So obviously not that we, you could braid it. Now that we're on a bowl and you <laughs> you, <laughs> you raise your hand and all of a sudden it feels like a You're hair not- flip on my fucking face. Relax. Let's keep it trimmed, but like man, not super you know trimmed. I, mean? I don't like the super trim. Yeah, do you know, we need a long. We need day. to grow that out, but not too long. Not too Happy long. Trail. Yes. Yeah. I just don't like a man being like shaved. We, I don't. Yeah, I Legs. like. We like hairy hair, hair. 100%. and a lot of it. Hair. <laughs> Shave, you already know. Just buy beer. a pair of scissors. Okay, how about beer? Like like a long beard. I love facial. I. Hair. L- facial some? hair. Pelotudas. Yeah. El pelo. We love a yeah. berry person. A I love a bear. Oh, a berry person. A hair but bear. Have you ever been with somebody that like shaves and shit? Like, no. No. Not really? Okay, maybe. So you only, yes. you only have one no. side of the story then? No, I was... No, just kidding. I mean... I've never, I mean, I've never been in a relationship, but I was with... Like, I was talking to someone and he did, like, shave and I was like... Mm. It's like a pref... Like, I don't know. I just... Well, girls can shave, but boys can't, like... No, guys can do whatever they want. Oh, okay. Obviously, everyone has their preference. Some girls like them shaved, some girls don't. No. I'm just one of those that don't. Yeah, I don't... Like, it's not even about, like, being with anyone or dating anyone. It's just, like... W- what you're attracted to, mm-hmm. That's not like cool. if I like not when you see be a person, to everyone. yeah. That's so just preference, it's preference. Hair, hair, ha, a hot boy, hairy summer, ha, hairy hot boy summer, <laughs> hairy hot boy summer. <laughs> you know but I mean? but yeah, honestly, guys are very simple. I don't really know what else to tell you guys. You could take a lot of the what we said for hot Look. girl summer and like incorporate. Listen, like, guys man, obviously want to feel good about themselves. Like externally, and then that makes them feel good internally, and that makes them want to go out, have fun. Let's talk, talk about people. guys. Do ten pull ups, do ten push ups, buzz your shit, and go out to the world. Go out to the fucking town. Go out to the streets. Have a good time. You're welcome. So yeah, everyone needs to have a hot boy, hot girl summer. And what are we doing this hot girl, hot boy summer? Eating shit? Absolutely not. We would We're never be imposters. We're going to have a great We're time. We're going to have a great time. We have a great time anyway. Yeah. We have a great time fall, winter, spring. Yeah, we just never stop. We haven't stopped <laughs> since we were 14 years old. <laughs> <laughs> we're tired of hot girl summer but it's fine because we're gonna this is even this isn't even better go out to new restaurants go out to new venues go to the beach jump off the pier go fight a bear go go on vacay eat a go snail a you've never been eat a snail not escargo escargo not a fan listen to new music I don't know. Figure it the fuck out, guys. But I hope everyone has a great summer. We're definitely going to have one. So join us. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode. I'm my A is Cata Buitrago. Mine is Isabella Calatayud. Remember to follow our podcast Instagram. Cheers to that podcast. And follow Martolel Media as well on Instagram. Duh. If you aren't, then what the fuck is wrong with you? And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and Spotify and listen to us on a podcast and do all of that because if not, like, you're disgusting. Love you.